Sure, this is where Farina lives. Okay, I'll go knock on the door. Lady Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. Hello. Oh, is that the Traveler in Paimon I see behind you? And who's this? I'm Chiori. Ah, the one from Chioria Boutique. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, what are you all doing here? Do you need something? Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. Huh? Oh, I... Uh, uh, Paima means the weather is so nice in the afternoon and the sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in late is a really smart idea. Uh, no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady Farina. We hope you like it. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else now. Oh, is this Fontanalia Moose? <laughs> it's one of my favorites! That's great! <laughs> so actually, there's something we need your help with. Given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. Oh, but didn't you just say that you're a director? Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Besides, I'm sure that your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Are the Traveler and Paimon also part of the film crew? Yep, we sure are! Paimon's the clapper loader and he's the camera operator! Camera operator? That can be a pretty technical job, and it directly affects the final quality of the film. Are you really up to it? No, I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that I've never really seen you use a camera before. Maybe you can come up with a test for the Traveler and see for yourself! If he can satisfy you with his camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can join the team! What do you say? Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Hmm... Oh, I do wish to see how skilled the Traveler really is with a camera. Alright, how about this? We'll work with what we have. I'll give you some scenarios and see if your work is up to my standards. Very good. It's essential for the camera operator to understand the director's vision. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. Are you ready? I have high standards, you know. Okay, grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario.
you have more skill than I thought. All the shots had a great composition, and I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lines. Yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director, Farina? <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? After our performance of The Little Oceanid, I've begun to make a name for myself again, you know. In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Unfortunately, the scripts were all pretty boring and didn't pique my interest. If others were to find out I agree to work with you so easily, then, well... Hey, but didn't we have a deal? What else do we need to do to convince you, Farina? Uh, well, what about the pay? Huh? You know, how much you're willing to pay me to be the director? The pay is also an important factor for me to consider, you know. Well, uh, I can offer you this much? What? That's all? If Nervilet were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. I see. Well, even though it's highly unlikely now that I'll join your crew, there's still something I'd like to ask. Exactly what film are you planning to make? Oh, uh, our script is an adaptation of The Two Musketeers. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number one bestseller? Oh, so Farina's read it too. Of course I read it! I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the populace. I see. It all makes sense now. You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for free once he heard that I wanted to make a film adaptation of the story. The lack of budget is due to another issue. He probably just wants to get his name out there. So, Mora isn't the most important thing to him right now. It reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. The exposure she provides for my brand is well worth it. Uh... So, are you a big fan of this story, Farina? Well, uh, it's all right. The pacing of the story is good, but the character relationships could use some work. When I was reading it before, I always felt like some things were left on a rather unsatisfactory note. I have high standards, you know. Ahem, Mr. Xavier. If, hypothetically speaking, I agree to be the director, how much freedom would I have in terms of script revisions and creative interpretation? Oh! Oh, as much freedom as you would need! I wouldn't dare doubt the tastes of Fontaine's greatest star! Good! Then I'm free to alter the script as I see fit? Absolutely! No problem! Alright, it seems that your crew really can't go on without my care and direction. So, you agree? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is well below what someone of my caliber deserves, a great script calls for a great director. I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread, you wouldn't just let it sit on the counter and get moldy just because you lack an oven, right? Oh, Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? Somebody pinch me. There's no more Hydro Archon, you know. And it's still a little early to celebrate.